So in this video, I want to talk about images. Uh, as you can see, just to point out what I already have set up, I have an image here and I have that connected to an outlet. Before I can talk about how to use this element, I really need to talk about how images are stored and um, how you can access images that you're storing on the device from your WatchKit app. So if we open up this, there we go over here, go to the folder. Um, there's two places on within our app that we can store images. The first place is the um, WatchKit app, and the second place is the WatchKit extension. Now, both of these play, uh, both of these folders can have uh, images in them. Both of these separate targets can have images from them. But which folder you actually store your images in really depends on what you're using the images for. So, if you're using images for your UI and your logic doesn't need to amp access your image, it's best to store them up here in this WatchKit app, target and folder. That's because uh, these images aren't accessible from code, but they're stored along with the UI, which means the UI can easily access the image just by naming it, either in here or in your code. If your images do need to be accessed from code, uh, you should store them down here in this extension. That, may, uh, that way, uh, they're in the same target as the code, which means the code can access it. Remember, either the interface or the extension can only access images and folders that are in the same target as they are. So there's two targets for a watch get app. There's the app, there's the extension. To get started with this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up an image uh, just by naming it and calling it in the UI. Now, I'm just going to use this image that I had a screenshot I had on my desktop and it, as you can see I control dragged it from my desktop into this folder here and it came up with this screen so we want to select copy image if needed yep we want to do that uh, we want to create a folder a uh, folder reference and as you can see we have targets now if you just want it to be accessible from the UI just select the watch kit tutorial app this is the UI but if you also want it to be accessible from the code, or you just want it to be accessible from the code, unselect this and select this. You can also make it accessible to your uh, normal iOS app. So because we're going to be using both code and logic uh, in the UI, I'm going to select both of them. Let's go finish. And now as you can see, we have our image here, but it will also be accessible down here. Now the simplest way to put an image on the UI is just click our image. Select our little drop down and we can go my image. Then we can run the app. Oh, that wrong button. Run the app and there you have it, our images in the UI. But we can also, instead of declaring the name of the image up here, we can do that down in code. So like I said, we have a number of ways. So this so we can set a named image. This is what we're going to do now. We can just put the name my image in here and that will set that image. We also have two other ways to set images uh, using a UI image or using UI image data. So these two functions you would use to um, set an image either from your WatchKit extension uh, target or if you're loading an image off the server and you want to display it in the UI you would load it either with NSURL or say uh, Element Fire load it into a UI image data and then you can just plug it in here and display it on the screen. So that's pretty much all I need to say about images. Uh, I hope you got that, I hope that made sense. Uh, there's also WK animated images. I'm going to include a link to a tutorial on how to uh, do those uh, animated images because it's a slightly more involved process than just doing it in Xcode. So I hope you have a look at that. And the next video in this tutorial series is on the new picker element that is uh, new to watchOS uh, 2.